I made my first ever $100,000 trading arbitrage. That's basically buying cryptocurrencies from one side of the country or of the world, selling them to another for a higher price. And to this day, I still believe that most people could easily make money, make a living by simply trading arbitrage. It is the easiest way to trade cryptocurrency without major risk, and it's not complicated at all. In fact, my channel grew at the beginning because of my arbitrage videos, because that was basically what I was doing mainly. But I started off as a local arbitrage trader and became a worldwide international arbitrage trader and obviously to get there there's certain tools and strategies that i have to learn that i want to share with you guys as a way of giving back because you need some kind of an edge to get a competitive advantage against other traders in your local area or at least just to maximize the amount of profit that you might be able to get in this video guys i will be sharing you some of the most important tools that i've been using and also strategies throughout my arbitrage trash career to this day so make sure you watch this video to the end because there's a lot of juicy information and also thank you to everybody who is subscribing to the channel and who like every single video that i post it means a lot because it plays around with the youtube algorithm gives me a competitive advantage so let's get started for the sake of context to newbies out there who don't know what arbitrage really is it's basically imagine buying cryptocurrency from one market or one country where it's a little bit cheaper and you could be selling it in your own country or in another country where it's slightly more expensive and you can make a lot of money doing that when you're trading arbitrage you're basically solving for two problems on-ramp and off-ramp on-ramp means how do you onboard some cryptocurrency how do you buy and where do you buy your bitcoin and off-ramp how do you dispose that bitcoin in exchange for local currency or cash the difference between these two activities the on-ramp and off-ramp is where your profit margin essentially is so while you're dealing with the on-ramp off-ramp situation there is one major problem that you're always going to face you could find Bitcoin that's being sold at a cheaper price elsewhere or where it's expensive, but you do need a bank account for you to be able to trade in that region of the world. And I mean, you're in one country of the world, you cannot have all bank accounts of all countries, right? Well, you can. And for me, throughout my journey, I discovered Wise Bank. Wise is basically a digital bank that mostly covers Europe and America and also African countries. And it allows you within one app to have multiple bank accounts from all over the world so within one wise app i have a gbp account a us dollar account a euro account a south african rand account nigeria naira brazilian real and on and on and on within one app which means i'm able to receive funds from every region in the world using a local account of that country if i'm trading with someone in the us i want to buy bitcoin from someone in the us and i just have to give them a us bank account well i already have it in my wise bank in europe is exactly the same and even if i want to convert currencies from let's say british pound into the south african rand i can easily do it within the wise app with favorable fees as well i regret that i discovered wise a little bit late because it changed the game and i'll show you some examples in this video where it makes sense and i do recommend for every trader out there to get yourself a wise app basically it's an online bank so you download an app and you sign up get verified and you're ready to go in some countries it doesn't work but it actually works in a lot of countries if you want to sign up on Wise Bank, use my link in the description below. I have my referral link on there. It'll go a long way, but that's something that I use. Something similar to Wise Bank that is also is doing the same thing is Revolut, except that Revolut does not operate in so many countries. So like for me, Wise Bank is what helped me to basically rip through Europe with my trades and trading in a lot of European countries, even Israel. And I made a lot of money doing that. Wise Bank is the number one tool that I use. This video is sponsored by Le Ledger. Ledger is the number one hardware wallet provider in the entire world. The best way to store your crypto is hardware wallets. Ledger Nano S, Ledger Nano X, and now they just launched the most beautiful hardware wallet in the world, the Ledger Stacks, designed by one of the core designers of the iPod. You can store more than 100 cryptocurrencies on it, different types. It works with your phone, with your computer, with everything. It's so elegant. It drops in March, so you can pre-order it right now. If you care about your crypto currency go to ledger nano's website using the link in the description to get discount and get yourself a ledger nano wallet number two 
is Paxful. Paxful is a peer-to-peer -peer marketplace for cryptocurrency. On there, you can peer-to-peer -peer trade Bitcoin, Ethereum, USDT, USDC, and it allows you to connect directly with people individually and do trade with them. And Paxful acts as an escrow account. Link to Paxful is also down in the description below if you want to get into it. But like Paxful to me is the best app for arbitrage. There's nothing that like Paxful. If you look at my previous videos, I've been saying the same. Even today, Paxful is still number one. Why? I love Paxful so much is that on Paxful, you can find someone who is selling Bitcoin for less than 5%. Whatever the reason is, I don't care. There might be in a world where in a country where they don't have an exchange to offer them. It could be a myriad of reasons. I don't care. But there, I'm able to find cheaper Bitcoin prices, less than 1%, 2%, 3%, whatever. But also you find people who are buying cryptocurrency in some part of the world at a higher rate. It's just higher in that region of the world. Let's say USDT, they're paying more than 3% or 5% or 10%. If I have the means to transact with them, let's say I have the Wise Bank and they're also in the region where they use Wise or bank account transfers, I'm able to make that trade. Now, to explain this even further, let me show you on my screen why Paxful is the G of arbitrage. So this is Paxful we're looking at on here. Let's assume that we want to sell some BTC. And already you can already see here that people are buying Bitcoin. This one is buying BTC at above 5%, the spot price and in Israel, in an Israeli bank account. And here they have PayPal. And this guy says, oh, banks, here's your wire transfer, Swift. This is a wise transfer. It says above 80%. I don't understand why this is, but obviously this is a small volume trade, so it doesn't really matter. But let's say we select wise specifically transfer wise here we go and let's say i want to trade worldwide and i'm trying to sell some btc to whoever has a wise bank account so this is an entire trading list for where i could sell my bitcoin there's a trader called ojo and this person is buying bitcoin at above five percent the spot price and she is or he is using wise to receive payment or to send payment and here she has had 2610 trades so she She's more likely to be legit. She's online and her account is verified, but she's only allowing a minimum sale of 5,000 and maximum sale of $50,000. So if you have liquidity, this, for example, is a good trade. And if you have a wise account, you'll be able to buy Bitcoin, let's say from Bybit, from Binance, from Luno, from Coinbase, and you could sell it to this person. But obviously you need to start small with this kind of things because sometimes there could also be scams. All right, you need to do your due diligence. And there are many others here. This one, is buying BTC for less than 1.5%, the spot price, this one 2.4% and on and on and on. So if you have a wise account, you can basically do all these trades internationally. You can do it even all on Paxful, buying on Paxful and selling on Paxful. For example, if we go on the buy side, let's see if we can find any cheaper options. I'll also go worldwide and payment method, I'll select wise again. So these trades will allow you to buy BTC using your Wise app. So let's say you're selling at two, three, four percent to someone else on Paxful. You can also open other trades on the flip side and start buying at this one. It's basically zero percent spot price exactly. Same as buying from any other exchange, but using Wise. And also there are different kind of trades, some of them that are a little bit more expensive. But then if you are trading arbitrage, you want to be on the side where you're actually selling your BTC higher, like 4.8 percent, 5 percent and on and on. And all these people are making trades anyway. So it shows you that there are people buying the Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies at a slightly higher price. And a lot of people ask, like, why do other people overpay for cryptocurrency on Paxful? Like, I don't know. People are in different parts of the world. They have different reasons. Some of them want to buy immediately and they cannot wait for the verification process on the exchanges or they're in a country that has been sanctioned from cryptocurrency exchanges. It can be a lot of reasons. The whole point is that this market definitely exists and it just requires work for you to exploit it. Two, number three, Furu Combo. So this is more of a DeFi decentralized exchange or decentralized finance strategy. If you find discrepancies in the market and you want to exploit it, you can actually do it without any money, with zero money. You can basically make a five or ten million dollar trade on Furu Combo. If the trade is true, you will make money. We call this flash loans. Basically, you write a strategy programmatically, and if the strategy is correct and it made profit, you basically get the profit. And the exchange that you use to take a little bit of a profit, also commission, and you keep it going without any capital. But this is something that you can do on Furu Combo. 
I'll put the link in the description. If you know anything about DeFi at all, it's not easy. I'll keep it real with you because it used to be easy at the beginning or on smaller altcoins. And right now, people have automated the whole DeFi trading strategy or arbitrage. It's so difficult right now. However, it's very important to know that liquidity positions still work. So that is another form of arbitrage that I do is basically just taking a liquidity position in decentralized exchanges. I remember in 2021, for example, on Uniswap, there was like a 30% APY in one month for providing liquidity that is against a volatile coin because, you know, the volatility was real. So that is something that I use, but I know most people aren't really clued up on the DeFi side, but you can learn it all at Crypto University. If you want to learn arbitrage or P2P trading, OTC or like price action trading, all sorts of trading that I do, it's available on Crypto University in our courses. Grab the Crypto Masterclass. It have NFTs, DeFi, crypto trading, crypto investing, all in one big package of a course. I recommend you go get it. Link is down in the description below. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you learned something from this. I appreciate all the likes and the subscribes to everyone watching out there. If you have any questions, do not hesitate to leave a comment below. I will answer all your questions. Otherwise, I'll see you on social media, Twitter, Instagram. It's great BTC. I'll see you on the next videos. I'm dropping special videos for people who are members on this channel. So if you're not a member, make sure you become a member right now. Next to the subscribe button, there is a membership button. Become a member to support the channel and get some of the most exclusive content that I'm dropping to my members. I'll see you on the next videos, guys. Peace out.